Okay, I want you to do the bulk of this problem, but I want to give you a little hint and talk about a couple parts as you work on it. So if you want to pause and start and try the whole thing and then check, that'd be great. Otherwise, you can keep listening for some of the hints. Now remember, the first thing you're asked is to find a five number summary. So in terms of finding the five number summary, we are pretty familiar with the parts now, but what do you always need to ask yourself first? What's the big question? Is it in order? Is this list in order? 48, 50, 48, it's not in order. Even though this is a long list and you have to order it, I made it so it's not so bad. All I need to do is start by swapping that 48 and the 50. Then as I go across, 58's fine, 60's fine, 63's fine. Ooh, there's a 60, but I just need to kind of swap the spot of those two. 64, 68, 60, well, okay, wait, gotta swap another two. But then it goes 68, 68, 69, ugh, swap another two. 70, 75, okay, and just swap the last two. So even though it had to be reordered, it wasn't outrageous to order a long list. So I'm ready to find the five number summary. Everybody's pretty good to start with, the minimum. Now when you go to write the next entry, a lot of people wanna write the maximum next because they don't need to do any math, and that makes sense, but be sure that your maximum comes last because remember in a five number summary, the list needs to be in order and your maximum is the last entry. Now you need to go find Q1, Q2, Q3. So if you haven't paused and found those yet, why don't you pause and work on those now? Okay, ready to check your answer? Did you get 60 for Q1? Not so bad, most people get that one just fine. Q2, which is also the median, actually trips people out. Hopefully you can read that, that's 67.5. If you didn't get that one, I got another hint coming for you. And then Q3 is 70. Yeah, all my numbers are sequentially ordered. Go from smallest to biggest. If you messed up in the median, when you go to find Q2, you're taking 50% of 18 numbers, dividing by 100, and you're looking for the ninth entry. But remember, it's a whole number. So we have to average that ninth entry and the 10th entry. The ninth entry was 67. That's probably what you had originally, but the 10th entry was 68. When I divide those by two, I get 67.5. Remember, it's okay if that number's not in your list. Q2, which is also the median, means 50% of the numbers are below 67.5, and 50% of the numbers are above that, and that is true. For the box plot, I'm gonna let you work on that yourself, and we'll go over it in class. But a lot of people get here and get stuck. So if you are stuck, rewatch how I started the other box plot. Start by drawing your vertical lines where the five numbers go. Then connect your box and then connect your arms. And we'll go over this in class.